is an open day today at Goldsmiths uh, University.
with the idea. expecting anything I came with an open mind <laughs> yeah uh, but it's really really nice the music uh, new movement was all calming Thank you. yeah it was really good calming. yeah yeah I love it. it's, it's, um, I, I just think like, this is my psychotherapy um, process but I also want to bring the like kind of therapy for my audience. Yeah. So if you feel calm I really Yeah, I really connect with it too. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy glad okay. to hear that. <laughs> so happy okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really it's very very nice. <laughs> I'm glad I came to say it. I had no clue I came with an open mind. Yeah. And yeah, kind of like, it did calm me, the music was really, really nice. I don't know, the music is oriental? Uh, kind of like, um, the music is also 
I'm playing the drum intuitively. Yeah. Like, and then I find, oh, it can be composed in the fourth stage and I can react as like doing some com cooperation. Like I'm working with the song, but also working with the audience. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, let me not keep you. Thanks very much. Thank I you. think the room was full, so I think people enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. conceive the whole idea I wanted to make a video maze yeah um, so a feeling of like being inside a video yeah and being inside multiple streams of videos and like yeah. trying to find meaning in an image but constantly just being met with uh, diffraction yeah um, I'm really like formally interested in video and how we can use it yeah aside from screens basically um, but it's also kind of about the process of like being in my memories uh -huh. um, I'm thinking a lot about my childhood and like I'm 24 now so just this really weird thing of like just becoming an adult and like how final that feels and like struggling to let go of um, that and also just like trying to understand who I am really yeah, and yeah. like so there's like videos of me as a kid and then also some of me as an adult where I was just like I filmed myself mm -hmm. and I'm like trying to understand why and like what I'm presenting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't think that there's any feeling I was going yeah. for, I guess, except like well, maybe yeah. a presence. Like I just wanted to feel like a space that you you're in. You yeah. Know, and yeah. You're aware of yourself in it, you know. 
Yeah, kind of, yeah. When you mentioned the word presence, yeah. Yeah. It kind of like felt, hmm. Where have I stepped in? Yeah. <laughs> Do you find it unsettling? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that a negative thing? Huh? Does it feel like a negative thing? No. No. It's not negative at all. Um, I like the originality though. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you. It's really good. Wow. How did you come then with the whole idea, the netting, water? I guess I say life and water. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I just think like I've been projecting through fabric for a lot of this year, and I just think it holds images really beautifully. Um, I'm really interested in like the relationship between technology and like immateriality. Yeah. And so I quite like using things like fabrics and like water which exist but have to be held in a form. Mm -hmm. So it's like these fabrics don't they're not naturally in these shapes, like I've had to put them up in these shapes in the same way that the water isn't naturally in that shape, I've had to put it there and um, I think it's a good metaphor I guess for files and like they're always existing, but they're not always like visible, you know. It's really good. Um, your really originality is really like wow. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs>
ode to my bow, an ode to my heart, from which this cock and bull tale starts. We come to this place for titillation, for pure masculinity, and perhaps some penetration. A letting of secrets, of pressure, of blood. In this arena we come together to sacrifice ourselves in spectacle, shame, and sickening murder. Prepare yourselves. So what if this has to get gory? I wanted fame and needed glory. As my father would say, man proposes, God disposes. And just like that, I was sent to find my story. I wanted one of pleasure and passion. There's a pinch of that, although it might not be up to your satisfaction. El Toro. El Toro, you've not been introduced. This behemoth creature that stands before you, in at about 6'2", weighing 4,000 pounds, he became the only home I ever found. With an aimlessly swinging jaw, subtle natured, and handsomely endowed. <laughs> How big. How brutal, how oh so fucking beautiful. This bull stables, like my old school dorms with beastly boys lined up and fed, broad, bored, and in need of a bed. <laughs> At the back of the stables with a crack of light, El Toro, El Toro. Like a red rag to a bull, I catch his eye, and we collide. He bows his gargantuous head, and seems to peacock his horns as if they were a tent. And there you are, El Toro. I spy bull's eye. Eyes filled with wisdom. Pools of tar that seem to reflect my very soul, or oh, a window into his, or both, or neither. I knew I was seen for the very first time as desirable, or uh, edible, <laughs> or both, or neither. With the pain of my past, of a thousand eyes all made of glass, I could finally see how vice men had used your image for capital B bullshit. Capital gains from the golden bull, bull markets, and cash cows. But they don't know you, Altura. Not your soul. Obsessed with your immense bills and horns. No one knows the acumen you behold. Whilst. I'm transported back to the here and now. My obedience till then had held its ground. I pop and drop like a bull in a china shop. My breeches buckle, and all I want to do is suckle. His thick thighs that hold onto my behind. His eyelashes that tickle my insides. Do I bulldoze? Am I bulldozing? Maybe I'm just too imposing. Cows. Cows have often tried to catch my eye for years gone by. And you could say I've thought about giving it a try. It's racked my mind from time to time. But what can I say? There's something about your tone and manner as you lie. Keep your patch dry, not letting me see inside. Me and you are one together, and we ride. 
not into the sunset, but to do and die for our lurid ancestors, perhaps Valhalla. The showman in me must come alive, and I must surmise and <laughs> compromise. Your oxide glares, my ultimate fears, for my modesty and innocence taken, and replaced with sex, drugs, and anything godforsaken. I would have been with him till the cows come home. But I ain't no hoe. No. <laughs> After I've watched them slowly devour him, he's glorified by being dragged across the room. They lay him under the mountain shadow that reaches out for El Toro. El Toro, taking him home, finally at rest of El Crito. I hold on to his tongue and to his teeth, which I will always keep with me. Thank you. <laughs>